Tokami no Motenuki, for example, and I will block his draw, his nuki. Okay, so from here, once I uh, once I stroke, I will proceed by locking his hand, his wrist. Okay, so I have this this form of um, of leverage here. Now, once I am pulling, I will proceed to a gaeshi or a kaeshi movement. That is, I will bring him violently, and at the same time that he is coming, I will overload. Uh, in this case, his his elbow. So this is what's going to happen very slowly. So there is no way. I have, of course, stopped the movement. I have just um, settled my body down. So uh, he came, and this this was the overloaded part of his body. Okay. Of course, that if I had pulled um, more violently and stood down, vi um, also. Roughly, he would um, ha he would have had probably an injury on his elbow. Okay, so from here we can see his hand is also on a very uh, fragile position. Okay, so there are many things we could proceed uh, in this method. First of all, is coming from extremities to the center of his body. That is, for example, I could um, first of all lock his body so he cannot fall down and. Um, settle um, with the movement then from here I could for example cause damage to the to the wrist also to the elbow okay in this direction I could also from here bring him a bit more and then uh, attack humerus and um, acromion okay by entering violently which I won't do but you can imagine how this would be by pressing inward Okay, I could also um, overload his joint, his humerus joint, like this, and proceed. So there is um, a very rough movement on his on his humerus joint again. Okay, and once I have this uh, his arm restrained and under great pain by this pressure, there are many things we could do. First of all, note that as a torite, as a study inside torite. In Jujutsu, he is laying um, 
down so he cannot draw any weapon any, anymore I can see both his hands so besides the the classical movements of Jiu Jitsu involving uh, knee uh, uh, um, <coughs> uh, head and all, uh, even parts of his body I could also for example simply bring him as I'm here press head violently or also just by sitting having positions in which he simply couldn't take away he simply couldn't move I could proceed to any form of uh, of time movements of knots you can see that um, biomechanically speaking I am allowing my scapula to be high my shoulder is high this is on purpose because if I just by less than one inch um, press this downward you know um, it would harm his elbow uh, it would be actually a, a great deal since his tendons are already stretched to the most and his joint is also to the limit okay thank you very much